a star, but only strictly where I'm famous. I'm in this foot along this hall, like we'll see where it takes us. I'm throwing back these double shots like whiskey here is weightless. Cause, cause this career I chose was even riskier than Vegas, yo. Oh, hello, hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. It is a Thursday night right here in the studio for the Kobe Rebel Show. I am so excited to take your calls on air tonight. So listen close as I give you that number, 323-992-3115. Three two three nine nine two three one one five. All right, everybody. I'm so excited to see you and hear you and talk to you. And um, remember, when you do get through those call lines, just make sure you are not on speakerphone and all of that jazz. You all know the rules. And make sure you just have that question easy and ready for me, you know. So we're getting out of this Mercury retrograde, right? And I don't know about you, but I don't think it could get uh, over soon enough, right? We, You know, sometimes, too, even when it's over, you have that residual energy, that, that energy that kind of uh, mists through the air. So it might be... Uh, might be things to do with um, communication, right? A lot of technical stuff. I mean, it was such a weird, weird one. Like, um, we all know about my car, my tire, right? So the tire just kind of randomly blows. I mean, I did hit a pothole, but, <laughs> but it, you know, it still kind of shouldn't have blown a, a whole gash in the tire. So that was weird. And then I get the car fixed, and then... All of a sudden, the garage opener clicker dies. And I'm like, what? So the battery needed to be changed. Again, energy, right? And then uh, my debit card, the, the bank decides they were notified by MasterCard that some cards were compromised. So they completely make my life upside down by uh, declining every charge, issuing me a new card. <laughs> it's like, so I'm sure how many of you have experienced that kind of energy this past week where you can't quite get something right or something just doesn't seem to go. We're going to have these ebbs and flows as we go along in life. So it's really important to kind of not make that too overwhelming, too overbearing on yourself because it will just create stress. It's just a matter of kind of taking one thing at a time, taking care of it, and just doing all of that the best that you can, right? Um couple things. I do have some announcements. Some really fun stuff is coming up. Our Sunday service is going to be November uh, 24th. Now, this was our November service. We postponed it because we had all the fires in Los Angeles. And, and then we had two of our volunteers. They were kind of in that area. So just for the sake of everyone, we moved it to the 24th. So this is in L.A. You could come and join us. We're going to give uh, messages from loved ones in spirit. We have a talk from spirit. It's really, really a beautiful, fun morning, about an hour and a half. Everybody comes together, and it's really a sense of community. And if you're not available in person, you can always stream it as we do that. But really, in person, there's so much energy there. And then starting on the 26th, I have my development circle. That is here in L.A. And if you want to hone those gifts, you know, you got to practice, right? They don't just come to you. You know, that's the thing about developing. Yes, mediums definitely have a natural gift, right? There's a naturalness to it. And we always want to keep that naturalness. You want to retain that naturalness. But in order to develop and grow and really strengthen those gifts, get more detail, all of that fun stuff that we strive for, you you got to practice. It's like anything, right? You don't you don't get to that professional level without that practice. So it's really a lot of fun. We have a great time, lots of challenging exercises. And again, right here in LA. Um, last but not least, I do have the mentoring. There's only one spot left. These things fill up so quickly every time. I'm always um, 
always surprised and taken aback and really love that people do want to study with me privately. So there's one spot left. And really, this is for any level. It doesn't even matter if you connect to this at all, if you just want to kind of learn to hone your own intuition, or if you do have gifts and want to develop them deeper, or if you're already a working professional and really want to up your game, then this is the perfect type of mentoring for you. So we have a lot to offer. I've got a lot of classes coming up. There are always my online classes. You know, if you go to my website, colbyrebel.com, if you hit that online um, classes, there's classes you can watch in the convenience of your own home. You don't even have to uh, be in a live class or course. You can watch it in the comfort of your home, kind of practice, grow. So there's a lot of those to choose from there as well. So head on over to the website and, and see if there's something that might interest you. There's a psychic, medium, another medium class, lots of stuff there for you. So again, very, very excited uh, to take your calls tonight. So why don't we just get started? Let's do this, right? You guys ready out there? Uh, make sure you share. If you, right now, if you're watching this on Facebook, you can see the video and it's, it gives you a share button. Hit that share and share it to your friends. Let's see y'all who gets in, right? Let's make it a party here. Um, all right, here we go. How about number 12919? Hey, 919, you are on the air. This is Colby. Who is this? Hello? Hi, Colby. It's Christine. Hi. I'm sorry. What's your name, honey? Christine. Uh, try it one more time, hun, because your connection is not very strong right now. What's your name? Christine. Hi, Christine. What can I do for you Christine. tonight? Um, I was hoping that I could um, talk to you or ask about um, who's with me. Okay. Um, what I would recommend, I'm not. you just don't have a real strong connection, so if it keeps cutting out, we're not going to be able to keep the call on the air. Okay, so I don't know if you have a window you can oh. go near. Make sure you're, you know, you've got that phone up to your ear. Um, is there anyone specific, Christine, that you're hoping to connect with? Just because we usually ask for that, just so I can take as many callers as I can in our time together. Oh, um, my dad. Okay, perfect, sweetheart. And that, that sounds a little bit better, so don't move. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's, let's sort this out. Um would you understand, would you actually understand your dad to be maybe a little bit of a private person? Like if he's having trouble or going through things, he, he's not really one to kind of share it with everyone. He seems a little more private about things. Does that make sense to you around your dad, honey? Yes. Okay. And do you also understand, I feel like um, he gives me a sense of passing from an illness uh, would you understand that? Like, I don't feel like this is necessarily a quick passing more than I'm ill prior to my passing. Maybe some chest issues, some things like that. Does that resonate for you? Yeah. Okay. And he also gives me, but you know, he gives me a sense where did he, I'm just curious, did he happen to come from another country or do you know if he spoke another language? Is there that connection with him? Well, no, I, I mean, I think he knew how to speak languages because okay. he was very articulate. Yeah, I get the sense from him, honey, that he's just so kind of smart. Do you know what I mean? He feels very smart. He feels like he would have fed his mind with a lot of things. And I just got the sense that he could speak yeah. other languages and really reads a lot, too. Does that make sense around him? Yeah. Okay. And he also gives me, um, he also gives, you know, it's a shame. I don't think he wrote, but he would have been a great writer. Did, do you know if he wrote? I don't, I'm not sensing he did, but I feel like he would have been a really good writer if he had. Very true. Okay. Got it. If um, he had, he did not write. I, did, I didn't feel that he did, but I thought, gosh, if he just would have put words to paper, he would have, you know, been fantastic, right? And I, I believe he was very yeah. rational about things. Like, I think he was very good at looking at things from both sides. Um, he doesn't really feel judgmental to me, you know? Like, I feel like he could have been a great politician. <laughs> <laughs> yes. um, 
he would have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but I also very feel true. like I feel like he's very caring and enduring. Like I just feel like you know, with you, he was affectionate. Like he does feel affectionate towards you. So you would understand that, right? He wasn't afraid to show you affection. Yes. And and I, I just feel like he, Very he puts his arms around you, loves to give you those hugs and kisses, that sort of thing, you know? Um, and, and just that playfulness. I mean, I do feel like there's a playful side to him as well. Do you, did you ever think back to when you were younger? Did you ever put puzzles together or something? I don't know. He keeps showing me puzzle pieces, so I'm trying to figure out what he's doing. <laughs> yes. Oh, you did? Okay, got it. That's okay. true. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah. And then also... This may be a little out there, but do you know a, a name now? The name could be for someone in the living or in spirit, but it makes me feel like it starts with an E, like an Edwin or Eduardo or Edie or something like that. I, I know that's kind of a strange, not a common name, but can you place that anywhere right now? Or I know that's a little tricky, that name. Uh, I I can't place to like the Ed part. I mean, I, I guess I did have an uncle Ed. So oh, yes, yeah, there I you go. Say that. <laughs> you did. You see that? <laughs> see that? So yeah. there you go. And, and, uh, <laughs> I love it. So, and he's in spirit as well with your dad, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You see, mm -hmm. there you go. Your dad is letting us know that he's with him. Okay. Um, and there's That's also, beautiful. yeah. And we also have a, I believe a J name. Now this again might be for someone in the living or in spirit. I almost feel like, uh, is there a, a Joanna or Joan or that name connected to someone in the living or in spirit? Yes. Okay. Very who, much so. Who would that be, sweetheart? Um, is that connected well, to your mom? Family named Joe. Mm -hmm. uh, well, no, my my mother's sister's name is Joe. Joe. Yeah. Joan. Yep. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Yes. That's where mm -hmm. I was feeling it. I was feeling it on mom's side. That's perfect. So I I do feel like dad is around you, and he really wants to. You know, he kind of just wants to give me this big hug for you. I you know I I'm not sure, Christine, what's going on, sweetheart, but he's making me feel like. Things maybe haven't been real easy for you. You're going through a little bit of a tough time at the moment um, because I feel like you need advice. Do, do you know what I'm saying? And I feel like it, it would be your dad you would go to when you needed this advice. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, sweetheart. He's, oh, are you okay? Oh. He's... Yes. Okay. He's letting you know he's holding your hand and he's letting you know um, it's going to be okay. You know, he wants to reassure you and let, let you know it's going to be okay. Um, now, he gave me a reference. So I don't know if you're having any relationship trouble. I'm not sure if this is connected or not, but he kind of gave me this thing like even when you have boy trouble, you could talk to him when you were younger. So... Does that, does that make sense? You would talk. To, yes. So, okay. And are, do you happen to be going through something relationship wise at the moment? Because I'm I'm trying to figure out why he would give this to me. Um. No, he was just my go to. Your go to. Got it. Go to for well, everything. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. The advice. Yes. Well, he's he's telling totally you. Totally, him. Yeah, he's telling you now. What he's telling. First of all, you gotta breathe. He says, and he just says, you know, worrying about <laughs> it. <laughs> you can tell it's him, right? <laughs> and he yes. just says, letting you know that would be something he would say. <laughs> and he's just letting you know, you know, not to worry. You know that that the you know that. Well, it's kind of weird because he says the angels will work it out. Now, that's kind of weird. I don't know if that's, <laughs> I don't know if he just says, you know, have faith and trust. But it's almost like, don't worry. I, I really feel like he wants you to just trust and surrender and let you know that you're going to be okay through this. You know, that the road is just, just a bumpy, it's like a temporary bumpy road, okay? 
Yes. All right. I hope that yes. helps, sweetheart. I agree. Oh, good. You got this, honey. You can do it. And lots of love to you. Um, and is there a Thank birthday you. in November? Do you have a birthday in this this month, or is uh, somebody connected um, to a birthday? No, but yes, I do. I know who that is for. Okay. Yep. Because he wants That's to say, my mom. yeah, see, there you go. He wants to make sure he says happy birthday to mom, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. I love that. Oh, good, good, good. Well, lots of love to you, Christine. You have a good night, honey. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, let us take another caller. Now, here's the thing. If you've gotten in in the last few weeks, do me a favor and just hang up that phone so we can give someone else an opportunity to call into the studio here and give them a shot. You know, Spirit loves to spread their love, so let's see who we've got next. How about uh, number 8815? Hey, 815, you're on the air. Hi there, who's this? This is Tia. Tia, how you doing, honey? I'm doing good. Um, good. I have a question regarding my health. I just actually had a biopsy done. Well, they tried doing a biopsy yesterday, and it wasn't so very successful, and they want to do surgery now. And I'm just trying to see what I'm facing um, with that. Right. Okay. Well, you know we can't diagnose here, right? So, yeah. Um, yeah. But it feels like this surgery maybe is more exploratory. It, you know, it, it kind of feels like it's needed only because um, it almost feels like something's attached to something else. Like, so they kind of can't get a clear shot or a clear piece of it. There's something where it's attached. So it's almost like it's hiding behind something. So I feel like that's why they need to do this. And, and um, so it feels like it's going to be exploratory. Interesting enough, I, I almost feel like they're just going to, I almost feel like there's going to be like a, a, a tumor or a nodule that they're just going to take out. That's the sense I'm getting. Um, so it kind of feels like you should do this. Uh, I can't make that decision for you. And certainly you got to go after what the professionals are telling you here. But it doesn't okay. feel like this procedure itself is too um, dangerous or problematic problematic but it also feels like by doing it you're going to catch something really early and it feels like that's what you know it doesn't honestly honey it doesn't feel like this is something you should sit and wait on for six months like it almost feels like kind of nipping it in the bud so to speak then it feels like you know you'll be, you'll be okay okay, okay. Is, is this am i facing like a cancer kind of thing or no I can't diagnose, honey. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Yes. Okay. You know, it's you, okay. you got to go. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. So go to the, let them do it and uh, okay. let them do it. And I feel like that's going to be your best course of action to kind of have like okay. a full recovery, so to speak. Okay. Okay. All right. Lots Thank of love you to so you. so much for everything. You're Lots welcome. Love you. Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 Okay, everyone, do me a favor now. If you've just gotten through in the last couple of weeks, do me a favor. Make sure you hang up those lines. Let's keep it fair and square to all of those out there who have been spending weeks and weeks and weeks trying to get through because the call lines are absolutely full tonight. How about number 2707? Hey, 707, Hello? this is Colby. Who is this? Hello? Hi there. This is Colby. Who is this? Hi, I'm here. Would you like to speak to me? <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I was so shocked that I was actually big. I was like, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, I was hoping to hear um, from my brother. Okay. Maybe like a message from him or something. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> That's all right. And what, I'm sorry, sweetheart. What was your first name? Angel. Oh, isn't that weird? So the caller before you, I said something about angels. He says uh, uh, angels. Yeah. Something about angels, right? Angels are taking yeah. care of it. That's so crazy. So that's how spirit works. They all I know. Do. They all know they're going to be tag team. And all right, buddy, you go next. All right, off to you. They 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 pass that baton. Now your brother, <laughs> um, Angel. You know, connecting to your brother. You know, would I be right? Like, when I tune into him, I, I obviously he's younger when he passes, but would he have been older than you? No. Do you understand him 
um, maybe acting as if he's older than you or a sense of like... Yes. Okay. Because he makes me feel like he's the one who's the boss. That's the sense I get from him. Yes. <laughs> yes. He just seemed like my big brother almost. Okay. Even though he's my little brother. Okay. That's so true. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Um, for sure. And, yeah. he, and he gives me a sense too. You know, it's interesting. I almost feel like he's confident like he's not very old but yet he's confident like he just seems yes. to be sure of himself do you know what i mean um yes. and i do know oh yeah for listen sure. i'm telling you this kid thought he was so good looking um he just thought <laughs> <laughs> and i does he have dimples when he smiles or do you have dimples yes okay <laughs> <laughs> He's not, we both do. he's not afraid to use those dimples either. <laughs> no. Um, now, he also gives me a rose. Is there a rose in the family, the name Rose or something like that, or something connected to his mother? Um, no, but um, all my siblings put a rose in his casket, oh. and I was too upset to do I, it. He, so maybe that's. He just he just gave me goosebumps, sweetheart. Just gave me goosebumps. So I know that that's right, and he's very excited. Now there is quite a few of you. Am I right? There's quite a there's a bunch of you. Are there five yeah. total? <laughs> yeah, there's a bunch. Are there five total, or five of one gender, or something? Are you counting? Um, there's five of us. <laughs> there's five of you. Okay, got it. Um, yeah. Now he also. I have uh, now. I do you know if he wore was religious or wore a cross around his neck? No. Does mom wear a cross? Do, I I feel like he keeps showing me a cross necklace, so I feel like he's showing me a connection that either someone's wearing him around their neck. Or there's a cross necklace. My mom wears him on her neck. Got it. All the time. Okay, thank a picture you. Picture of him. Yeah, you go. Yeah. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and I do know that he he knows this. Um, and he also gives me now we we are at an anniversary. Am I right? Are we close to his anniversary or his birthday? Well, it was um recent. His birthday was September. Okay. Um, what about his passing, honey? The, the transition to when he got his wings? It, it was in August. Okay, thank you. Because I felt like this is we're talking more about the transition, right? But he keeps talking about Christmas, honey. Oh, my gosh. You guys must go crazy at Christmas. Or lots of decorations yeah. and things. Because he just, he loves it. Oh. Yeah. So you guys are big on Christmas celebration, aren't you? Yeah. Um. I, I believe you even have tinsel on the tree. Is that right? Do you have the tinsel? Do you know what tinsel is? It's the string. You know what? My mom, we used to do that at my mom's house. Okay. Yeah, I haven't done that in a while. Okay, got it. He loves the tinsel, this kid. He loves the tinsel. Um, and he also Aww. gives me a thing for liking cars. So was he getting into cars or like liking fast cars or anything like that that you know of? Um, No. He was in his truck. That's. Yeah, but do you know? All I can think of. Yeah, but do you know he was like either proud of his truck, proud of like he makes me feel like yeah. liking cars, taking care of them, being proud of them, that sort of thing. Yeah, he was definitely a proud. Yeah, proud for sure. Yeah, yeah. that. Thank you. That's what I thought yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got yeah. it. Yeah, I got it. Um, I think you have to step up into the truck, don't you? Like a, it's a bigger. It's either has bigger wheels yeah. or a bigger oh, yeah. step up. Yeah. <laughs> he's a little bit of a he's a little bit of a flirt, your brother. Yeah. He is. <laughs> oh my God. He is. He is. Yes. Um, yes, he is. Um uh, now also is there an M name in the family? Like a Mickey or um Mikey or Mike, something like that. Does that name connect in the family as well? Oh my <laughs> Well his um his girlfriend's new husband is named Mike. Oh, got it. Well, he knows about that. <laughs> yeah. You know, it makes it, you know, I want you to know he, he, uh, she has his blessing. So you should know that. Okay. It makes me feel okay. like, um, he, he wants her to be happy. Okay. He wants her to be happy. Okay. All right. So just, just know yeah. that. Okay. Um, 
And then is now this is I don't know why so many weird names are coming through. Is there a, a J name like a Jasper or something kind of unique like that? Um, I almost feel like it's trying con- to think. I think it's connected to one of you girls. No, is there a lot? Are you dominating the the five? <laughs> oh. oh, I'm trying to think. Um. Janie, oh. Jasper, I feel like it's, I feel like we have a J connected, or that's what I'm seeing. Um, and I feel like it has to do with one of the, one of the sisters that he wants to acknowledge, okay? So maybe think okay. about it, because remember, it can be someone's middle name too, or a nickname he was using, right? So I just feel like there's something there that he's trying to tell me, okay? He also gives me okay. this sense, I, I, I feel, you know, this passing was very uh, quick, wasn't it? it uh, almost like um, an accident or something like that, is that right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, got it. Was he in his car, or was it a car accident that you're aware of? No, he's um, in his house. Okay, got it. You understand it being an accident, though. T- to me, the passing doesn't feel intentional. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think he. Would you he understand? Did, um, um, would you hang on one second? Would you understand maybe? Okay. And you, girl, you just tell me no if it's no. But would you understand him partying a little bit the night he passed? Yeah, yeah. And maybe like um, playing around with yeah, some stuff. Is, yeah. Yeah, a little yeah. bit of like, uh, substances. Is that you understand that? Yeah. Okay. Um yeah, it's it's interesting because he makes me feel like that th- that this was sudden and it was unexpected. It, like this doesn't feel planned to me. So I don't feel that this is intentional. I feel like he was partying and playing and just horsing around, you know? Um yeah. Okay. And he also wants to share, like, he gives me the feeling too. I, I think you, I feel like all of you guys were really close when you were younger. Um, and I'm not sure if you would play yeah. card games or Uno or something like that. Um, but it keeps giving me the feeling where he would win or try to win. Like, but you know, I got. I don't want to call him yeah. a cheater, but I'm not always sure he was playing on the up and up. <laughs> <laughs> So, I I think he would win by any means necessary at times, you know. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, like, that's something. he'd be like, "Hey, look over there," and then take a card or do something like that. He just makes me feel like he's he's funny. Like he he doesn't mind pulling pranks, doesn't mind trying those yeah. things. You know what I mean? Being a goofball, and and he wants to let you know how much he loves and cares about you guys. Now I know you mentioned his sister was getting married. Uh, excuse me, I meant to say, is there a sister getting married? Because I know you mentioned a girlfriend friend that got married is there a sister that is getting married or recently got married or anything like that coming up no Hmm. i know one of my sisters would like to get married (laughs) um (laughs) but no huh I keep getting the feeling we have a celebration coming up okay so that's what he keeps giving me so i feel like um, when was the ex-girlfriend's wedding? Would that have been recent or no? It was fairly recent. I don't remember what month it was. I, uh, I don't remember what month, but it was, yeah. No, this is really It wasn't close. very long ago. Like in the last couple months, do you remember or no? Yeah. Okay, got it. Okay, so he is acknowledging that, but he's also just acknowledging how he wants to make sure you guys know he's okay. I know you guys are all protective of him. You're still protective of him. Yeah. Um, and he loves what you guys do for his memory. Like, I feel like you all come together and you still talk about it and you, you do things for him. Um, and he really gives me a sense of letting you know he knows this and loves this and, and is saying thank you for this. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Yes. I, I. Again, I keep getting a feeling where either uh, between November, December, we have a birthday coming up as well. So one of you guys has got to have a birthday coming up because. Oh, his son's birthday. Okay, there we go. Is in December. Okay, thank you. Can I ask what his son's name is? I'm just curious. Hello. 
Colton. Sorry, Colton. Yeah. Colton. And what's Colton's middle name? Yeah. Can you just say his middle Cass. name? Cass. What is it? Cass? Yeah, Cass. Huh. Okay, okay. Like Cass? Yeah, yeah. I get yeah. it. There's no James. Is there a James in the family? Or do you know someone has that name? As a middle name or... Hello? You're on the air, so you got to keep talking to me. <laughs> oh, I'm just trying to think. I don't. I can't think of anyone with James. I can't think of anyone with a real right. name James or anything. Do me a favor. Um, I, I just know he's coming forward to let you know that he loves you and he loves his son tremendously, okay? Um, if you'll do me a okay. favor, just look for... I, I believe we've got like a J-A name. And I, I believe this is, is either someone's name or their middle name. So if it makes sense, if you sort it out after thinking of all those big old family members, just put it in the Facebook comments for me, okay? Because I always like to see where, okay. it, where it sorts out, okay, honey? But listen, I got to yeah, let you know. Yeah, my mom would probably be like yelling Duh! at me like yes. this or something later probably, I'm sure. That, that's un Uncle Jack. Oh, everything that I'm missing. <laughs> All right, it's well, hard to think when you're on the phone. I know, I, like, know. Ah. I know. I know. Well, just yeah, know that he's he, with he, you. He, like, he took his own life, and we always wondered, like, did he do it on purpose, or was it an accident? Because it just didn't seem right. Right, right. If it, you know, I got to tell you, from the feelings I get from him, it just doesn't feel intentional. So that's... Right, the, okay. That's, yeah. what, I, that's and, what we... Like, yeah, okay, so he I, was drinking, so. yeah, that's it. Just felt like he was partying a little too hard, <laughs> okay, yeah, and, that makes sense. And then just wasn't the most responsible. Do, do you see what I'm saying? It's just a little bit of an odd combination, but d don't worry, it does not feel to me that this was intentional, that he was unhappy and didn't want to be here, okay, honey? Okay, all right, lots of love to you, okay, all thank right. you, you're welcome, bye bye. Okay, let us do how about number um, 21, 469. Hey, 21, this is Colby. Who is this? Hey, Colby, this is Clayton. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I am doing well, my friend. What can I do for you tonight? Oh, well, I didn't even expect to get through. <laughs> I would love to hear from my friend, Kenna. Okay, what's the first name again, Kenna? Her name is Kenna. Okay, K-E-N-N-A? Yes. Okay, got it. Um, would Now, that's interesting. Okay, would you understand her, first of all, to be actually very, very sweet? But I think... Yes. But is there like a either a wild streak to her or like a wild side, maybe something with her hair, just something where she's a little like, hey, this is me. Oh, yeah, very much so. OK, got it. Did she happen to have either piercings at all? Did she? Have, I'll keep going to my nose. <laughs> I'm not going to guess if they were anywhere else. But did she, <laughs> <laughs> did, did she happen to have know. any piercings in her nose I don't or think lip? She had or, piercings. Um, or at multiple earrings. I just see, keep seeing studs. So, um, what I keep getting is studs. So I feel like either there's some sort of easy she was thinking about a piercing. I don't know. There's something with this. Okay. She gives me this feeling okay. too, where, yeah, she's like very, very sweet and very sensitive. Um, she was the kindest soul. Yeah. And she was loved by everybody. And she was just so sweet. Yeah, there's a real gentle gentleness to her. Um, and she gives me the feeling, you know, it was hard for her because she's very empathic, right? Very, very empathic in that way. And I feel like I it was very that. hard because I get the sense from her that she felt like maybe not everyone understood her, but I know you did because I know the two of you were actually very close. So you two would have yeah. really big, strong conversations, right? And what's very interesting, much, yep. now her passing is very quick as well. Is that correct? Is she responsible for yes. her passing or, or do you understand that part? We weren't sure. We weren't sure. 
Okay. She gives me the sense where I believe she has a hand in her passing. I don't, again, this doesn't, I got to be clear about this because someone who has a hand in their passing or responsibility, that could be like they were doing drugs or partying or something, but it wasn't intentional. The autopsy came back acute alcohol poisoning. Yes. So I, I believe it doesn't, but again, that to me doesn't. She was real depressed towards the end and yeah. she had been drinking a lot yeah but it a lot. feels and like she wasn't trying to there's a difference though right there's a difference between someone making a choice of i don't want to be here and someone being so upset or a night out party there's a difference so i get the sensation or feeling from her she really was. She was definitely, you know, I can't diagnose, but definitely that sense of depression, definitely that sense of loneliness. Very much, yeah. Um, and, and it was hard because she didn't want to burden other people, you know? So right. it made it really, really hard. And I believe that, to me, she just happened to be just, I, I'm just going to be honest, I feel like she was drinking very heavily, like heavy alcohol. Like it might have been good old yes. whiskey or something, yes. like just something crazy. Yes. Um, there was three empty alcohol bottles yeah, see? in her when they found her. Yeah, but again, you know, it doesn't feel like, it just felt like, you know, it was numbing the pain. So I think she just wasn't keeping count. Honestly, do you know what I'm saying? Like, it just, yeah. I, it's weird, too. I wonder if they know if the TV was on. I almost feel like she was watching TV that night. I, I, I'm not sure if somebody would know Actually, that. She was. Yeah, okay. she was. Yeah. She, we, I found her the next morning. Okay. Yeah, uh, she rented our cottage behind uh, our house. Yeah. And I, we, we went over the next morning to walk her dogs, and she didn't come to open the door. And so we went and got a key and opened the door and yeah. found her dead on the ground. Yeah. And the TV was on See? and so, there were three empty alcohol bottles. Right. And I want you to realize one thing, okay? And then uh, um, one thing to know is, and, and maybe this is just kind of, I feel like she's giving t this to me as proof that she didn't do this intentionally right didn't end her life intentionally the reason is because she's such an animal lover i believe she would have uh uh either said something to you for the dog she would have done something she wouldn't have just she would have yeah she wouldn't have just left them like she wouldn't have done that just because mm -mm. she wanted to make sure that she, she was so all over them all the time wanted to make sure they were okay so to me it just feels like um yeah, it you know, and again, maybe the autopsy doesn't show, and I, and I almost feel like either there's a sleeping pill or something to help her sleep was also, you know, in the system, and I I believe that it's just that kind of combination with the alcohol and that, um, that that to me just makes it feel like her her because she's not a big girl, she's smaller, right? So, um, it makes me kind of yeah. So her body, I just don't think could handle it. Okay, honey. Thank you so much, Colby. Oh, my gosh. You were so spot on. Oh, Thank you. Lots of love to you, sweetheart. Lots of love, okay? Thanks, Colby. You're Have welcome. a good night. Good night. Good night. Okay. How about... Um, that one's a tough one. You know, we all have... You know, it's a shame because... Um, you know, just as a note to everyone, you know, when... There's times where we all have these dark moments in our life, right? You all have those moments where you're just struggling and you're working hard to kind of figure things out. And you don't always see the light at the end of the tunnel. And it doesn't always um, feel like it's going to turn around. But I think the most important part is um, to get the help that you need. Like when you're not, no matter where you are, you know, try to have at least one person in your life that when you're struggling, you can go to them. You can just say, hey, listen, I, I'm not feeling 100%. Um, because I think when we can do that, you, you know, people can really, really create a life for them that is so different than that, that little stuck place. And uh, sometimes you just wish you could show someone, oh my goodness, this is what else could have been or this is what else you could have done. So make sure to reach out to your friends, everyone. Reach out to your family. If there's anyone, you know, make sure that people know that they can turn to you if they need to, okay? Uh, how about uh, let us do, oh my goodness, how about 732? Number 23, 732. 
Hey, 732, you are on the air with Colby. Who is this? Uh, Laura. Laura? Yes, I'm I, I'm in uh, New Jersey. Oh. I'm calling you all the way from... Where in New Jersey? From, uh, Tom's River. Yay! You know, I'm from South Jersey. I'll be there in April. <laughs> cool. What, what <laughs> yeah, can I do I, for you? I just lost my, my mother-in-law in June and okay. my brother-in-law in February. Okay, got it. Okay, got it. You know, and then just recently, my my friend is going through a lot. She just lost her dog. He ran away. Right. So it's been a lot going on. Yes. Yes. Did you want to connect to a loved one then, or my 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 mother in law? Okay. Okay. Her um, her name is uh, Laura too. Okay. Got it. Well, let me let me do. The, are you okay though? Because you sound. I want to make sure that you're okay. I, I'm I just a little see. emotional because you know it just been was hard because she passed away of yeah, cancer. Yeah. Hang on. Let me do the reading. Are you just okay if I continue? Yes. Okay. I'm okay. Good. Okay. Just want to make sure. Um, I feel around your mother in law. You know, it's in her. I mean, this lady feels like she was a ball of fun, like a fireball. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I get the feeling like she brought you in just like her own, like everybody. She made sure everybody had a place at the table. You know, I, I feel like she made sure everybody had a seat. She, you know, she wanted people around her. Does that make sense? Like prior to her oh, well, being yeah. ill, uh, prior to her being ill, because she gives me a feeling where um, I get the feeling where sh she um, she feels active, like her hands move a lot. So either she talked with her hands. I know we tend to do that in New Jersey anyway, but she gives me the feeling yeah. like you would have been close to her. She gives me that sense where. Um, I believe you spent a lot of time with her. Is that right? Like, would just either take care of her, spend time with her? Because she gives me a sense of... I, I would always spend time with her, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And, you know, because she was like, you know, she felt the void after my grandparents had passed away. My mom's mother was killed in a car accident when I was four. Right. Well, she, she, gives, you know? me, um, she gives me this sense with you where... Uh, would you also happen to have a ring from her? Uh, d did she give you a ring? Uh, she was supposed to be giving me one of her rings. Okay, because she... But she never had a chance to give me it. Okay. Because she was telling me about it. Yeah, she keeps telling me you're supposed to have this ring, honey. So make sure you get this ring, okay? Um, and she keeps... Okay. She keeps telling me to um, let you know that she's okay. I think it's important for you to know that she's okay. It's important for you to know... Um, that that there's a peace around her, okay? Um, now, she okay. gives me a bird. Uh, do you have a connection to birds with her? Would you understand that? She keeps showing me like a... Uh, <laughs> I used to have uh, uh, parrots in my house a long time ago. Okay, got it. Okay. Now, did one? Do you know if one of those parrots transitioned or passed away while you had it? Because she keeps giving me a feeling of... Uh, he had passed away right after my sister came back from China. Okay, got it. Because he's le she's letting us know about the birds. Um, she also gives me the feeling of uh, letting you know that she connects to you with birds. So, you know, maybe hummingbirds, put a little feeder out. Well, not now. It's a little cold there. But she yeah, gives me we, a all, we always had, like, the feeders out, like, in the summer. Cause there that's, you go. Uh, you know, they always come around here in the yes. summer. Yeah, so she lets me know... There's that. She also gives me the sense, too, I don't think she needed anything fancy. Like, she doesn't make me feel like it had to be the best of the best of everything. She just was important for her to feel her family around. That was important. And I know she just loved to kind of teach you things. So even though you're an adult with her, right, she loved to just still yeah. kind of show you things, kind of include you. Like, I just want you to know how much she loves you. And I, I do have to go, honey. But do you understand? And I want to ask something. Well, Is gonna... she around her son right now? Because I know he is, like, missing her. Yeah, she's definitely around him, and she's also just giving me a sense of ceramics. Do you have little ceramic figurines that are from her house, or do you, something like uh, in your house? She had given Joe, uh, his aunt had given us something, okay, you know, like pictures of her, okay, but I don't think of any ceramic things. 
Yeah, it's, it, you'll see. It's in the house. But listen, I'm so sorry because I have to go because the, the show's can, over. Are, are you going to be on live uh, again soon so I, so I can call you back? Well, I'm always on Thursday nights at 5 p.m., so just wait a few weeks as we like to rotate the callers and always try back, sweetheart. Okay, Laura? All right. Thank you, Kobe. You're welcome, honey. Lots of love to you, baby. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Oh, it's hard. You know, you could feel her love and emotion and a lot going on for her. So, uh, but that is about the end of the show, everybody. You know, there were really some powerful connections there with, you know, you could tell people, you know, really love their loved ones. And it is difficult when we lose someone uh, that we're tremendously close to. And, you know, as much as we say it, just knowing and really feeling them around can bring you so much peace and comfort. So please know that they're with you. Uh, feel free to share. Follow me on Facebook, everybody. You can hit the like of my page so you're always aware of when I'm live. I'm always on Instagram at uh, Psychic Rebel. But I always want to just thank you guys so much. Listen, real quick, uh, if you have access to iTunes and can leave a review for the Colby Rebel Show, I would be so grateful. Nothing helps you more than a nice review. And if it's not nice, then don't say anything. All right? All right, everybody. Have a great night. I'll see you next week. Bye, everyone. A star, but only strictly where I'm famous. I'm in this for the longest haul, like we'll see where it takes us. I'm throwing back these double shots like whiskey here is weightless. Cause, cause this career I chose was even riskier than 